And welcome to the super fun, awesome, happy time, Shredomatic, tube driven pedal show. My name is Gabor. Hey, welcome along. I'm Alex. We're going to check out this old funky pedal. How old is this? 90s? Uh, possibly. I've had it for years. I bought it, I think, yeah. for about 20 bucks at the local music shop. They had it, 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 they had it sitting in there second hand, and I said, mm. I need this because it's the Shred Omatic. Yeah, <laughs> anything Omatic. Oh, it? yeah, Omatic, yes. Yeah. Uh, please it just like needs 2000 Shred Omatic, <laughs> not D1. Shred Omatic 2000. Yeah, 2000. Uh, hit like and subscribe on the channel. Give us a thumbs up. All please that do. Stuff. That'd be awesome. Um, yeah, so we're going to. I've never actually played one of these. And was there a couple in the series? Yeah, I think there remember. were. There was the, there were a few different ones. Yeah. Um, but this is the Shredomatic. Oh, two thousand. Um, <laughs> two thousand. Yeah. Tube driven. So there's a tube in it. Yeah. And uh, from what I gather, so I do. I, I did download the manual. Not that the manual says a lot, but uh, basically, so I mean, just just an overview, right? So it's a distortion pedal. Yeah. Uh, you turn it on and off with this. You have this control here, which you can the pedal. You can assign it to be mm. off, or you can assign it to be a volume pedal, so output level. Well, that's oh, yeah, of course. Or you can assign it to be the drive. So gain up or gain down. More gain, less gain, right? Yep. We'll get into all that. You have a standard output, uh, low and high and drive section. So this is basically your volume, low and high EQ, and how much gain you want. But then it's really all in the drive mode. That's the party piece. Of That's it. the party piece. Yeah, right. So we have two different types of drive modes. We have tube. Mm. Now tube, and I'm reading this from the manual, which you can just download anywhere, Neat. is warm, fat tube distortion ideal for blues. So there's a 12x7 tube mm. in it, and you get all the all the beautiful warmth, bluesy tube drive sound if you're on tube. Cool. You have diode. Now, diode is a harder, edgier diode distortion, ideal for heavy metal. Oh, the heaviest of metals. So just, just for you. Hello. Uh, and then we have the really cool ones. We have the mix modes. Mm. Now, with the mix modes, the color of this changes, and it depends. And I think it's actually kind of cool. On yeah. your pick attack. Yeah. So, depending on how hard you hit it, it goes from tube to a mix of tube and drive. Mm. So kind of as you're picking harder, it gets edgier. Is that the word they used? Yes, edgier. <laughs> um, so you have smooth, and best of all, you have passion. <laughs> passion. I want passion totally. <laughs> oh, yeah. So smooth, basically what happens is, it, as you increase your picking dynamics, or if you, for example, roll the volume on your guitar down and then yeah. roll it back up, and you get higher dynamic content as you're playing, it goes in a smooth fashion from your normal tube mode mm. to a mix of the tube and diet mode. If you are very passionate and you're quite passionate as a player, which I know you are, it is a very hard, it doesn't smoothly, it goes very quickly from tube drive to a mix of tube so and diet drive. Straight to hard passion. Straight to hard passion. <laughs> okay. So it says, yeah, it says, so uh, it's smooth, it increases the input signal. Oh no, sorry, increasing the input signal creates a smooth change between tube only and a mixture of tube and diet distortion. And passion, uh, increasing the input signal level creates an abrupt change between tube only and mix of tube and diet distortion. Um, in both the smooth and passion modes, the mix is determined by the player dynamics. When playing softly, or when you turn your guitar volume control down, the signal is routed through the tube section, resulting in a mellow, low-level distortion. Harder playing, or when you turn your guitar volume control up, will mix the warm tube sound with the screaming sounds of the diet section. Harder passion. Oh, yeah. Hard passion from yeah, the yeah. Shredomatic. Very, 2000. very hard passion. <laughs> uh, now, I'm not the kind of guy who says this can emulate anything, like oh, yeah. a clone. Bad monkey. <laughs> bad monkey, like any of these things. I want your opinions. Leave the opinions down in the comments. Thank you so much. All right, let's start off with tube distortion. Let's have this off for now. Sure. Everything at 12 o'clock. Clean sound. Oh, and what kind of guitar is it you're playing now, Alex? I've got a new guitar. This is a 1979 SG500 from Yamaha. Mm-hmm. An old one, and it's lovely. It's cool. Anyway, this is what it sounds like. Hold on to your shorts. Mm. We're getting traumatic. Oh, yeah. Mm. 
Anticlimatic Now, this is your drive. So we've got low gain now. Okay, that was tube, right? Uh, and I mean, we went. It's it's that's basically the same as turning to drive all the way. Up. So this doesn't do anything if you have this set on on drive. What is it called? Drive level. Uh, this doesn't do anything. So wherever this is set, that's where it's set. So if we play. <laughs> That controls that. Now, let's do the same thing, but let's go to diode for that more heavy metal style playing oh, that yeah. you like, Alex. Uh, now, let's go to the smooth yeah. mix. Smooth. So you will also see now, smooth. if Alex plays softer, smooth. the light is red. If he okay. plays harder, the light will go orange. And as it goes orange, it blends. What if I back off the Nick pickup? Too? You're very passionate. Let's go to passion. So it, it just changes quicker now. Same thing. <laughs> thing but it does happen it does work it, it, it didn't happen overnight but it did happen let me have a quick go so uh, i'm going to start off on the neck pickup this is the uh, vander master caster no vander caster not master it's a caster no. vander caster vander guitar's body uh, no carbon uh, neck of mine or would be called kiesel nowadays that i had lying around uh, that was fitted to it with uh, mr glenn's pickups the cloud nine and the tui which we now know is a bird um oh, is it? <laughs> it is 
Uh, well, you you mentioned it last time. You said you think it's a bird, bird tui, kiwi bird, New Zealand bird. Did I say bird. that? You said that. Cool. And I looked it up, and it is. It is. Okay. And a Vega train. And on an egg pickup, it sounds like this. Let's start off. Let's start off being bluesy. down. Is that dire now? Now again, dire. I think with a neck pickup, strat style pickup, volume roll down, it sounds really good on tube actually. Yeah. It sounds quite, uh, quite different on dire now. Yeah. It actually sounds surprisingly good. And it's got a nice amount of thickness without having a boomy bottom end. No, and you can yeah. turn the lows up all the way. The EQ is cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's more, um... I reckon, uh, forget about just go out, buy this. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, some more strat stuff. Thank you. 
great. It's tax rock and roll. Yeah. It's nothing bitey or sharp or No, nah, no. Nah. Let's now try, Spiky. because I know what everyone wants to know, is what does it sound like with low tuning? Gabor, does it sound... If you want a shred 2000 D1 with tube-driven stuff from, <laughs> by Akai Professional, stuff. and you want to play it in C standard tuning how, with an aluminium neck guitar made for oh. Bagley's guitar and a body made by Vander guitars and a descendant of a Brada Mastery Bridge and Curtis Novak Thunderbird bass for guitar pickups, all mounted to a Justin Hermes or Herod uh, aluminium, custom aluminium anodized pickup with some fantastic wiring by String Switch Noise and beautifully put together by my friend Jim. At the Luxton guitars, how does would it sound with all that? Hey, what does it sound like? <laughs> in C standard tuning. So this is now in C standard tuning. That's a big difference. That sounds good. It's way more pronounced difference with this than with any other guitar. Yep. But what if I... Want to be really passionate with this guitar. Kicking. Uh, I think that sounds really good. It sounds really good, <laughs> all, all the guitars. Um, it's yeah. Rock box, isn't it? It's a great rock box. You can have a volume control, mm. which works well, so you don't have to do the pre post thing and have to have an extra separate thing. It's all built in. You can have your drive level, you can be passionate, you can be smooth, it can be diode or tubey, whatever you prefer. You can be diode. <laughs> diode. Well, it's di diode. Or tube E. Yeah, what do you guys think? Comments below. Yeah. Is it better than a bat monkey or what? <laughs> I don't know. I've never eaten a bat. I mean, tried a bad monkey. I have a bad monkey. We should do a shootout. Sure. We should yeah. do it. Everything with a shootout with a bad monkey now. It, see, Josh Scott forgot about that. It's yeah. bad monkey versus everything. But he didn't have a shred matic did he now? No. Did you now, Josh? Josh forgot what? the shred matic Josh. <laughs> go, go like your Blair Witch buddy and sit in the corner, Josh. Uh, have to shoot out <laughs> this with a bad monkey and yes, a Miko and a clone. Miko stop. Okay, um, <laughs> links below to Instagram, Facebook, and podcast. Thanks for hanging around for this informative 
educational video of some sorts. And sorry for getting so passionate, but it's just the passion that just makes me so passionate. 2000. 2000. <laughs> It'll do that too. <laughs> See you soon.